this is that time of isolation mode. This is that time where you want to really get right within you. All right, gentlemen, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. This type of content is stuff that I would not post on YouTube, and this is why it's called exclusive content. Gentlemen, I want to go ahead and talk about the importance of monk mode. And gentlemen, do you ever get to a point in your life where you feel stuck, where you feel like, hmm, dang, things are not going right in my life, or I'm not getting the results that I want. I'm having issues in my relationship or all these different things aren't working out it's essentially that every man goes into monk mode and monk mode is one of those times where you really get in tune with yourself this is that time of isolation mode this is that time where you want to really get right within you at the highest degree it's like a long time fast but you're like in your world your isolation mode this is where you become that that inner dog that inner man starts to grow and this is something that I learned because I've done monk mode many times in my life. And this is something a lot of guys are not capable of doing. And this is why I see the lack. This is why I see that when I see millionaires or dudes who are successful, they've done monk mode. They've made sacrifices in order to accomplish a particular goal or reach a particular pinnacle in life. And I truly believe that monk mode is essential. There are five important components of monk mode that every brother should implement when it comes to monk mode. Number one, get rid of women. Number two, you must disconnect from social media. Number three, you must hit the gym. Number four, you must read self-improvement books. And number five, last but not least, you gotta work on your spiritual health. Now, I know number one, when it comes to getting rid of women, that's something that a lot of guys aren't capable of doing. And we all know that women are, are big distraction. And if we're not capable of removing women that don't serve our purpose, a lot of times we have a little rotation. You have a little chick that you hit in and she's really not helping you or adding value to your life. But I highly suggest that you cut her off, not for ego stroke, but for you to get better. If she's not serving you, if she's not helping you level up, if she's not making you a better man, you have to get rid of her. I'm sorry. I know I know it's good. I know y'all have a good time, but you got to get rid of her. You got to get rid of her because, again, she's not serving no purpose. And I'm going to tell y'all a personal story of myself where when I got into monk mode, I had to look at all the women I was dealing with. I had to evaluate and think, does she serve my purpose? Does she help me level up? Does she get me better? Is she draining my energy? Is she the energy vampire? And once I looked at all those components, that's when I realized, nah, I got to get rid of this person. And I did it. I got rid of that person because they weren't serving me. They weren't serving my best interests. I wasn't leveling up with them, dealing with this, these particular women. I had to let them go. And I had to do what's best for me. Gentlemen, you have to have the ability to get rid of women that don't serve your purpose. I promise you, you will thank me later. Because once you, you're able to eliminate those women and you're focused on your purpose and you're, 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 you're grinding and you're stronger. But when you cut out women are distractions, fellas, I'm telling you. When you're able to build yourself, you're not going to need women validation. Cutting out women will build that stamina. When you do with a, with a woman, you won't be as timid. You're going to be, become more of a leader. You're not going to be afraid of losing because you've already displayed that power of getting rid of a woman. Not saying that cutting cutting them off is fun. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you have to have the ability to remove women from your life that don't serve you or help you. This is why number one is so important, getting rid of women. This is a guy's number one weakness. Number two, you have to disconnect from social media. If you don't have a business, most people don't have a business on social media. Most people post on social media for social aspect. Most people get on social media just to scroll up and down. And once you catch yourself just scrolling up and down and not doing anything, not 
gaining anything or just being nosy and looking at other people's success and then you start to feel envy you start to feel bad you start to think why not me you shouldn't be on social media you must disconnect from social media because you have to get better within you because a lot of times like i spoke about prior just scrolling up and down being nosy and i caught myself doing that just scrolling up and down i was not on my purpose i was not doing things that serve me best that i was not doing things that helped me long term i was just looking at beautiful women looking at inspirational quotes and stuff like that but i was also being nosy looking like oh look at this person look at and once i started i caught myself doing that i was like man i got it i got to disconnect from social media i went a month i went other times i went seven days other time i went two weeks but you must cut yourself out from social media i promise you you will get better from within and a lot of people are not capable of that, especially in today's times where we solely rely on social media in, in order to reach out to people. But the people that actually care about you, they have your number. So if they actually want to hear from you or talk to you, they can call you. But most people on social media are not your real friends. If you don't have a certified business on social media, then you need to disconnect from social media. Now, if you do have a business on social media, then only use utilize it for business purposes only business purposes you need to discipline yourself you can't be on it for social purposes and just to have fun and look and scroll up and down the whole nine that part is very important number three you must hit the gym it is so important that you hit the gym when you are working out i don't see one person complaining about oh when they left the gym they felt more stress no most people myself included Whenever I leave the gym, I feel so much better. When I'm hitting that nice, when I hit a nice workout, when I hit the pool, when I hit that cardio, when I'm sweating, when I'm exhorting energy, I'm, I promise you, you're going you're gonna to love it. Like I promise you, everybody that leaves the gym always feels better about themselves. When you start to achieve results, gym results, you start, it builds your confidence. Going to the gym builds discipline. The gym is like the foundational piece of what a disciplined man is, right? Or anybody that goes to the gym, women, everybody. When you're going to the gym on a consistent basis, that builds your stamina, that builds that builds your discipline, that makes your discipline strong. That's where you're more focused. When you start to accomplish gym goals, that will enable you to accomplish other goals. Going to the gym is extremely essential. Number four, reading self-improvement books. One book that I read was The Way of the Superior Man and No One Mr. Nice Guy. During my most mo season, I read those two books and it definitely changed my outlook and perspective on the relationship dynamic between men and women, how men think, how women think. I learned the true nature of who we are as people. Outside of reading those two books, I started doing extensive research, looking at theories and articles, talking with people, looking at different YouTube videos of different personalities, hang with different people, seeing how what men talk about, what women talk about. I'll ask certain questions. I was doing a lot of research, thorough research. Before I even started my platform, I had to do thorough research to understand who we are at our core from a holistic standpoint, human nature, because you can't be human nature. You can't defeat biology. Who we are is who we are. That was something that I had to unpack when it came to reading those two self-improvement books. But again, when it comes to self-improvement books, it all depends on what season of life you're in, right? I was in a season of life where I was focused on me getting better as a man, understanding my, the importance of masculinity, understanding what femininity means, because again, I want to attract more feminine women. So in order to attract more feminine women, I had to dig deep within my masculine frame and bring that out. That was my motivation of reading those books. Number five, the last but not least, your spiritual health. One thing I had to do was get more in tune with God. I had to get more in tune with my relationship with the Lord. I don't know what religion or practices that you do, but me personally, I wanted to get close with God. You know I'm saying get in the Bible, pray on a daily basis, you know, thanking God for for living, get my the spiritual, my spiritual health on point. Because without my relationship with God, I felt like I had no reason to live, honestly. And having that relationship with God and understanding how God is from a spirituality standpoint and, and, and then the battles that we go through from a spiritual standpoint helps a whole lot. Knowing that you're protected from the man above is solely important. 
whatever religious practice you do, it's important that you get back to that and really focus hard with that spiritual health. And I promise you, gentlemen, those five components, those five strategies are what I call monk mode. This is what I personally did. This is what I've witnessed from other content creators, other people that are successful. They've done those five exact things. And I promise you, once you implement those five things, you're going to be a powerful man. If you can be consistent, you are disciplined, you're going to be a powerful man. My goal is to be a superior man. Right now, the mindset has already kicked in, but my goal is to be a superior man. My goal is to build generational wealth. My goal is to help people give back, speak, travel the world, write books. That's the vision. That's, that's the life that I envision for myself. I don't envision myself just working a job for the rest of my life and just be miserable. My goal is to, there's more than that because God has blessed me with this particular gift to reach, to touch lives. Because throughout my whole life, I've always been able to give back and touch lives and impact people. And I'm just very blessed that I have that gift. If you're not utilizing your gift to your, to your fullest potential, then you're just wasting time in life understand that when you're not on your purpose fellow that's what creates depression that's what creates anxiety and all these different health complications saying from a from a mental health standpoint because when you're not on your purpose that's what causes people to become haters when you're on your, when you're not on your purpose that's what causes people to become criminals when you're truly not on your purpose that's why your purpose is number one gentlemen Ladies, you too. Your purpose is number one. Gentlemen, I'm speaking to you because it's a men's channel. You have to be on your purpose. I promise you. I'm not just saying it just to say it, but you got to be on your purpose. And I promise you, when you have a purpose and things start to happen, adversity starts to hit you, you'll have more fulfillment and a reason to live because you. although this is going on, I have a purpose. Gentlemen, this is why monk mode is extremely important. So Go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my page. Also, don't forget to leave a comment for any feedback or whatever you feel, whatever insight you have on this particular video. If you have any other ideas or other strategies of monk mode, go ahead and comment. But again, thank you.